Hi, I want to share with you today what I find works for me to stay in my truth during intense energy shifts. Um, we've been going through quite a few, and I got to tell you, it's been a bit of a struggle. So that's what I want to share today on this video. I'm Linda. This is my YouTube channel, and I like to talk about all things to do with energy, uh, energy healing, transformation, really navigating this ascension process that we're all going through, and basically just living your life through the energy of love that's what it's all about and that's what's going to help us this planet ascend into its next um, stage to that fifth dimension so that's what we'll talk about on this video and I broke it down to like five different things that actually worked for me although let me tell you this past these past couple of weeks I guess it's been through this Lionsgate energy I happen to be my, my uh, zodiac sign is cancer and um, we've had eclipses in cancer new moons um, mercury in retrograde I mean the energy has been crazy and then there's this Lionsgate so for me it's been very intense and even with knowing how to shift my energy, something I teach all the time, boy, was I struggling. So I want to cover the things that I find that help me to move through it all. And that's what I'll share with you. I wrote them all down. So the first thing I want to talk about is a big thing. Don't get stuck in the negative thinking because, you know, Okay, so there's a lot of energy that we're processing, okay, and that's got to come go through us. We, you know, it's good to look at the shadow side and let it go, see it for what it was, thank it for the lessons that it gave, all of that stuff. Like, a lot of us know this and do this, but still, I know at least I did, found myself really kind of stuck in this negative thought process, knowing that it was not doing me any good because you cannot create anything good from such a low energy and from a place of, I don't know, like fear or worry about what might be coming up in the future, right? Because when we're stuck in those energies, we're only perpetuating it and even creating something to actually have to worry about or be fearful of. So the first thing, that was the first thing I want to talk about is like really just, um, when you realize that you're in those thought patterns and these thoughts come in, you like, can just be like, okay, wait, cancel that. <laughs> okay, I'm not getting stuck down that spiral. Where's that leading me? Why can't I just focus on what I want, right? Flip the story, um, do something to distract yourself so that you're not staying in that negative energy because it doesn't, it doesn't do any good. Go outside. I mean, there's a lot of different things we'll do. you can do, and I'll talk about that here. But basically, whatever you find for you that can distract you and pull you away from those negative thoughts that are basically only full of someone else's experience or your own past experience, I mean, it's usually not happening right here, right now. At least for me, it wasn't. But still, I was still stuck in these thought patterns um, of this, <laughs> these things that I'm going through a big change. You know, it's a, a total new beginning is on the horizon and I know it and I'm excited about it, but then I can get stuck in fear about it when I let that reactive mind, that subconscious junk <laughs> step forward and take the foreground, right? So look at it, decide, no, I'm sorry, I'm just not going there. It's, a, it's an old game. It's an old way of living. We're moving into a new way of living where this doesn't exist anymore. So why would I want to perpetuate it now, right? Now, even though I'm saying this, I was stuck in it, okay? <laughs> I admit it. I was so stuck. I mean, for about the past two weeks, it's been really hard. Um, and that's why I haven't even created any videos because I just didn't have the energy for it. I just wasn't there. Basically, that's it. I wasn't there. My light was not really there. Okay, so this leads me to another point I want to make is one way to shift it. Living in the moment. Okay, 
looking at the here and the now, you know? Like, look at the things you have to be grateful for, your family, your home, your your um, animals, your pets, your plants, you know, like um, the land that you live on, the town that you live in, all your friends, all your extended family, um, all the opportunities that are out there for you to learn and grow and evolve and expand. There's really so much that you can look to in the moment to appreciate. And when you do that, you already start to lift that energy, right? When you bring yourself back to the here and the now, like, I know I've been going outside barefoot on the grass and just feeling the earth, you know, and looking at the trees and the birds, listening to them. You know, I have my windows open, so I wake up in the morning to hearing the birds singing outside. That's uplifting. I'm so grateful for that. Oh, there's so much beauty around us if we choose to see it. It's there. So that would be a big tip. So the first one I was talking about was not getting stuck in the negative thinking. Second one I just mentioned was living in the moment, right? Really being grateful, um, finding ways to just shift yourself into this higher vibration. Um, yeah. Yeah. Because we're going through a global transformation. It's not, it's not just it's not just the people who are aware of it, who know of this, who maybe would be watching my videos. It's everyone. Everyone's going through it. They might just not understand what it is. So lucky for you, you kind of have an idea. And then you can listen to people like me and other people who can explain these things to make it, to help you to make sense of it all, which really my purpose is to help to bring you back to your truth, which is that you are love. You are made of love. You are love. So once we start to really claim our truth and live from love, well, that's how we ascend into the fifth dimension. So the third one. Okay. Let go and simplify. Now, I'm not meaning just letting go of all of the things that you want to create and all that. I'm talking about letting go of stuff. <laughs> letting go of stuff and letting go of um, behaviors or ways of being that don't serve you anymore. So I know I love, pur I always love purging my house. I'll go through every closet everywhere. I just did my attic again and got rid of so much stuff that was up there that for what? What am I saving it for? You know, like, I mean, the kids, there's some things that you just have to hold on to for whatever reason. Um, but not me. I just cleared out so much stuff. This is what I do. Because energetically, you have, and everything's energy. So you have energy ties to everything that's in your environment. So if you have a cluttered space, it, it actually clutters your mind because it's pulling at too much of your attention. So you want to kind of streamline, clear out, you know, knickknacks, furniture, um, your drawers, your clothes, your shoes, your toys, things that you're not using, you know, let it go. Give it to someone who could use it, right? And really another part of that simplifying, pulling away like behaviors is like, you know, I, I just can't get too stuck into social media anymore. It just feel, it doesn't even feel good to go there for me. It, 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 so I, I take that as my guidance saying, listen, you don't, don't be on here. You don't belong. You, it's not doing you any good, right? Better off getting in your garden, planting some plants or something like that, like getting into the earth, you know, or painting something, creating something. I like, I used to like to do mosaics, you know, like maybe doing another mosaic, something like that, where you're letting that creativity of yours flow rather than just being distracted by all this outside stuff. It's all outside. So really you want to return back into yourself, which actually was my next one, the fourth one. Bring yourself back to you. Even just saying that I, I feel this energy, it feels so good. Like that's the whole thing. It's like clearing out anything that no longer really serves you, that's no longer really important to you, that you no longer have any use for, 
I hate to say it, there could even be some people in your life that just might be too much of a drag or that you keep trying to lift them up, but they're not ready to be lifted up. So you wind up depleting yourself, right? So it's all about really releasing all of these other things that do not serve the who you are right here and now as you evolve into knowing your truth, that you are love, that we are all one, and that we're all on this journey together. So letting go, I mean, that goes even into like forgiveness, letting go of these old stories, just letting go of whatever it is. Trust yourself, trust you and your higher self to know what things to let go of. Ask your guides, your angels, God, and just put the request down. Show me what it is I need that would serve my highest good to let go of right here, right now. And then just start doing it, whatever that is. There's so many things that it could be, right? So just find your way with it so that you come back to you, so you can come more centered and aligned with yourself, so you can start feeling your truth. Now, the best way to do that, and what's really gotten me through these last two weeks, is meditation. But it wasn't until <laughs> the last two or three days that I could actually really get into my meditation and feel me again, even though I was meditating. And I'm, I, I've meditated for a long time. It's, it's, I know how to do it. It's, come, it's almost just natural for me. But while I was stuck in this energy, I had a hard time. I couldn't sit for very long. My mind would be everywhere. I couldn't get quiet. I couldn't just connect to myself, but I kept trying. <laughs> okay, I'm going to sit today. I'm just going to relax. I'm going to breathe. I'm going to bring in the light. All the things I know how to do. And, and you know, it took a while for it to really take hold. But I believe that that's just been all of this process of purging. It's something that I needed to go through, something you need to go through, but we can make it easier on ourselves. So meditation will do that. Um, yeah. And like I said before, going out into nature, that, that always will bring you back. I mean, just go sit in a park somewhere and, and watch whatever life is around, you know, watch little kids playing in a playground. And remember, recall yourself, that wonder and that delight and how you could find something in the most simplest thing and make a story out of it. And excuse my dogs going crazy howling, um, but let's see. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So I was just writing, you know, ask for solutions. Ask your guides and the angels. So when you're in that meditation, you're getting back to yourself, but you do have these concerns that keep coming, that negative stuff that's been playing in your mind, and just ask your guides, you know, show me the way through this. I know that the answer, the, pro the solution to this problem already exists. Guide me towards that, you know, uh, inspire me with my next action steps, right? Instead of pushing yourself, that's another thing too. I, I actually did, I've been doing no next to no promotion for my business. Um, I just I, I, I just seem to have not been able to do much of that, although I was deep into this purging cycle, purging everything in my yard, in my house, my attic. Um, and then the fifth thing I want to talk about is, and it goes right along with that meditation, connect to the light, okay? You are the light. You are love. You are light. That's what, that's what light is. That's what love is. So meditation can get you there. Usually it can get you right. So if you're having trouble, this is what I did. Okay, I just want to go a little bit longer on this. Since I wasn't finding that peace just on my own, I started listening to guided meditations. And I love Ornan Deben guided meditations. If you've never heard of Oren, O-R-E-N, and Daben, D-A-B-E-N, I believe. Um, Google it. And they've got tons of meditations. And I'm telling you, uh, and it was totally working with light. And that helped me to come back into that space where I could feel that expansion. And uh, it, really, it really brought me back to me, to feeling myself as light, to knowing myself as light. 
to knowing that as long as I be this light, hold this light, share this light, that everything flows into place. You know, I know this, I teach this, but I was so pulled out of it. I, I just was so pulled out of it. It didn't make any sense. And that baffled me too. I'd be in my head about, this doesn't make any sense. So that was another story, right? This doesn't make any sense. I don't understand why I'm stuck here when I know how to get out. How come I can't do this? And You know, <laughs> it's just another story. It's just the ego mind trying to dictate what it is that you need to do or to really actually keep you in that place. So the meditation, guided meditation, brought me right back, feeling my light, knowing that the more I hold this, really, that's my, the only job we all have to do, all of us, is just to hold that light and love and be that energy and just let it ripple out. That's how everyone in the world will catch up with this um, ascension energy, by holding that love and being that light, being your truth. You are light. You are love. And you can do it. So I hope that some of these tips helped you. Um, if you've been going through this sort of thing, comment below. I'd love to know I'm not the only one, although I know I'm not the only one because I have clients going through this as well. I can see it with family members. Um, I can see it through just different things. I did. Yeah, I could actually feel it and sense it. Actually, there are times because I'm so sensitive to this energy that I'll just be crying for no reason because I'm just processing all of this energy that's out there there's a lot of it so that's why we need to me and i'm now asking you to really connect to the light be who you are love and light that you are hold that vibration for as long as you can and just send it out and you're in that space and that high vibration just by bringing people you love and things situations into your awareness while you're holding this energy and this light then you're feeding that those people those situations light and that's how things smoothen out and everything flows so much easier and more harmoniously so i guess that's all for now um I would love for you to subscribe, like, share, and comment. I really love to get comments. And I will see you on another video. Bye for now.